Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you about SSH. SSH allows us to connect to a computer from another computer. It is very powerful when you are working with cloud computing. So let's make sure that you have SSH installed in your operating system. I'll show you how to check SSH in Windows and then in Linux. So in Windows what you want to do is go to this Windows icon click on settings, click on system, scroll down on the left panel here and click on optional features. If you see here on the optional features open SSH client that means SSH is installed in your system. If you don't see the open SSH client scroll up to the top and click on add a feature. Here go ahead and search open SSH you should have OpenSSH client and OpenSSH server. Go ahead and install the OpenSSH client. If you want Windows to be the SSH server, go ahead and install this. But for now, let's just install the client. Now in Linux, if you just type SSH, you should see something like this. If you don't, just install SSH through your package manager. Now how do we connect from one computer to another using SSH? We need to make sure that the SSH server is installed on the computer we want to connect to. So I have a server running right now and you'll need a few prerequisites before you can connect to that server. You first need the IP or DNS name and you also need the SSH client. So we've already verified that the SSH client is installed and now let's go ahead and connect to that server that I have running SSH. If you're in Windows let's open up PowerShell and let's go ahead and type SSH space and then the username on the server as well as the IP address or DNS name. So I have a user named Debian on my server. Let's go ahead and type Debian for the user at and then what follows the at symbol is the IP address or DNS name. So I know the IP address is this right here and let's hit enter. It's going to ask you about this. This is making sure that you trust this server. I know that I trust this server so we'll say yes. Now it's asking for my password for the user Debian. We'll go ahead and place that in now. It shows that I am logged in as Debian and then the host name is Debian. Now let's see how we would do this in Linux. But Linux has a little more functionality than Windows. So it would be the same thing SSH Debian at 192.168.1.15 and hit enter. It's going to ask you for the password and then we're logged into the Debian server now. So what additional features can Linux do? Well let me show you. Let me exit out of the server by pushing Control D and then let's clear the screen by pushing Control L. Now let me show you this feature of dash Y. So if we say SSH space dash capital Y space Debian at and then the IP address or host name. What this dash Y will do will allow us to interact with GUI programs through SSH. So let's go ahead and hit enter and then enter our password. Let's go ahead and install a chess program. So I'm going to say SU to change to a super user and sudo apt install 3D chess. And I'll send in dash Y so that way I don't need to confirm. Let me exit out of being a super user. And then let's type 3 capital DC. And you'll see that it's going to pop up here. So this is running off of the server and not on our local computer. So this is powerful if you have programs on a server and you want to run them on your local machine. You can do it this way. So this is just an introduction on how to use SSH. It's very powerful whenever you have servers in the cloud. Thank you all for watching. I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you next time.